We are back here on Carolina Women. It's sort of make new friends and keep the old. One is silver exactly. and the other is gold. I have gold friends here. Linda Oliver, thank you for joining us. Deb Hasselbaum, thank you for joining us. Palmetto Art, well, it's, it's Palmetto Quilt Guild. It is. Oh, it's the Palmetto Art Guild because this is so beautiful. Thank you for coming today. You're welcome. I want to talk a little bit, if we can, about the Guild itself and then some of the things that you do at the Guild and specifically the raffle. Actually, I don't want to talk about the raffle. I don't want anyone to know about the raffle since I just... You have contributed nicely. So tell us a little bit about what you all do. Our organization is uh, here on Hilton Head to promote the art of quilting. Mm -hmm. um, we have an organization. We have about 115, 14 members right now. But Do it, you really? Oh, yeah. It fluctuates. Uh, men and women. Uh-huh. Men and women. We get together 10 times a year, monthly, okay. as a whole guild, uh, and have a wonderful lecture with a renowned quilter, quilter. from around the country. And very often it's nationally or even mm -hmm. internationally. Right, I mean, <gasps> we have had girls from Chica women from uh -huh. Chicago, Australia. from Boston, Australia. 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 So it's, it's quite an amazing, Thing we have when I think of quilting, I think I love quilts. I have quilts on every single one of my beds, yeah. and it's fun when I go visiting places. I, for some reason, always look for quilts, but I awesome. don't. I'm not an expert. I don't really know a lot about quilts. She's and an I, expert. Yes, she is. She is. And I know from talking to you for years and years. How did you get into quilting? And tell us a little bit about the art and science of quilting. Okay. Well, I started quilting in the 1970s. Um, and I know it's because my mother had family quilts and they weren't anything incredibly special, but to me they were. And yes. it, it stuck with me and that country decorating phase came along in the 70s oh, okay. and I started quilting. I had never done it, I, I did so. Right. And honestly, I've been doing it my entire adult life with a big break for having children mm -hmm. and no time for that kind of thing. So, it, and quilting goes way back. I mean, we're talking 1700s. There are examples of quilts in Europe and the United States. What is the difference between quilting and sewing? Is mm. there something that makes a quilt a quilt? Boy, that's a good question. A quilt generally has more bounce to it. Okay. Whereas and it's a piece sandwiched. of sandwiched. Where oh, a piece of clothing okay. is just one yeah, piece fabric. of fabric. This has a top, a middle, and a bottom. Right. Oh. So there's so there there something back. substantial inside. It can be very thin. It can it can even be a cotton sheet back in say the 1800s, 1900s or um, nowadays we use quilt batting and there are lots of different types. And I guess for me, every time I look at a quilt, it seems to almost have a s signature. I don't even know how to say that. There's so much history within a quilt. It, usually it has something to do with your family or an occasion. Um, it, it goes way back. This one, for example, yes. is a modern quilt. Okay. It has a lot of negative space, Okay. But it is a takeoff on the traditional log cabin quilt. So if you look at this patterning here, Got that it. is a, a, what log cabin would have been, but in smaller condensed calico okay. or plain colors if you're Amish. Mm. So so this is a modern quilt. What did you bring? Okay, this is another one. example. Yeah, this is another example. This is really great. <laughs> this is a um, a modern um, a piece of quilted art. And a teacher named Pat Pauly came to us from I Rochester, New York. And this was from her workshop. Mm -hmm. So we have monthly meetings uh, on Thursdays. Okay. And then the next day, the woman or man who has come to talk to us gives us a workshop. And this is a result and this of, was of the workshop. workshop. So ah. she taught us how to do something big and bold and creative using certain techniques. This used freezer paper as the templates. Oh, that's amazing. So. It's funny, as you walk in my front door, this is way more information than we need, but I have a quilt that I floated in glass I that I built know. my house around in colors. That's right. I it's so yeah. amazing. You take the colors in the quilt yes. and you design the space so around that. With 30 seconds to go, let's talk about the <laughs> raffle that I'm trying to su su successfully avoid. Well, Tell the, us about that. The raffle, this quilt is part of a raffle that is going to be auctioned off, not right, auctioned, auctioned, but yeah. sold our at our festival. quilt festival, and that's really why. And it's March 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Ooh. Yeah, and we really would love for you to come. It's at the Hilton Head Beach and Tennis Club. Mm -hmm. You can buy this quilt online at our on our website. By the 
can't buy the buy the, <laughs> buy the tickets. Yes, buy, buy the, the tickets. tickets. So, okay. Right. Darn, I was getting right. ready to go online. I was going to yeah, say. so come to the show. It's going to be so much mm -hmm. fun. 125 quilts wow. will be on display. There's 143 now. <gasps> Are there oh really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my all right, you guys, we will gonna we will um, bring you back and let you all show us some quilting one day. I think okay. that would be fabulous. Wonderful. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come here on Carolina Women.